Hey guys, Pase Baller here. We are now on this uh, prediction between uh, Miami Heat and Minnesota Timberwolves. I guess this is already like the 8th game for today, November 24, 2021. Right, Miami Heat, uh, they have a record of 12 wins and 6 losses, while Minnesota Timberwolves got a record of 8 wins and 9. Before we proceed, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Passive Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, you guys will be notified whenever new videos are uploaded. All right. Uh, Miami Heat, uh, they are sitting at... Um, hold on. Uh, they're, seated, they're seated at number two in the Eastern Conference with that. A tremendous record of 12 wins and 6 losses. While for Minnesota Timberwolves, they have improved a lot. Um, and they are now at number 10 with 8 wins and 9. Now for Miami Heat, they have been winning. Uh, they, they, were, they are the winners of 4 of their last 5 games. While for Minnesota Timberwolves, they've won 4 games in a row. So as you can see, momentum-wise, both teams, uh, you know, are having uh, momentum, you know, their own their own kind of a story. But um, I would have to say that Miami um, is a uh, is more consistent. Um, they have started this season well, and they are where you know they are where they started. And uh, again, they're number two in the East. Well, for Minnesota Timberwolves, they've they've had a very bad start, um, and now they are improving. They are at number ten, and again, they've just won four uh, games in a row. Um, this will ha uh, this match would happen 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's 9 a.m. here in Manila. The game would be held in Minnesota, so that's one that's one point already for Minnesota Timberwolves. They got the home court advantage. At the same time, Miami Heat played last night, so fatigue factor uh, would be a check for uh, Minnesota because again, Miami uh, should be uh, feeling their legs um, coming to this game, while Minnesota Timberwolves they're coming off. Rest day, um, uh, but I would have to consider the other, you know, the other things like you know how uh, how they really are and you know what what what's really bringing them to success. Now, if you take a look at Minnesota Timberwolves, they have a lot of stars there. Um, they have Cat. They have Anthony Edwards, um, they have Beasley, uh, now they have Beverly. And Beverly, for me, is a huge factor for them. Um, uh, I really don't see any problem with Minnesota in terms of offense, especially if uh, D'Angelo Russell is there. Um, they can really score, uh, but uh, they need someone uh, who would serve as a catalyst in their defense or a stopper. Or who could bring them some momentum and all that, and of course Patrick Beverly is perfect for that kind of job. So uh, if uh, Beverly would actually bring some some defense there, and we all know Beverly can also score, man, we know that Minnesota is in for a ride. Now for Miami Heat, uh, if if uh, Minnesota has a lot of stars, then my then I don't know how to I don't know what to say about Miami. You know, they got uh, they got a Butler, they got um, Hero, they got Duncan Robinson. Uh, man, they, they they have Adebayo, um, and they have they have a bench who can score and defend. Um, for me, um, yes, uh, Minnesota would have those advantages that I mentioned earlier. Um, fatigue, uh, you know, th th they're playing at home, but um, and the stars, you know. They would cancel each other out. Uh, for me, the determining factor would, on this one would be the would be the bench. Um, simply as a whole, uh, Miami Heat is a better player than Minnesota Timberwolves, and um, I look at it. I, I look at this game as you know the stars canceling each other out, and then you know the the bench would actually determine who's gonna win. And with that said, um, with the uh, uh, call this with. Um, the spread of minus two going to Miami. I'm gonna pick Miami on this one. Uh, I know fatigue would it would be would be a factor, but uh, Miami is too good for that. Um, so I'm still picking Miami Heat minus two on this one. Again, Miami Heat minus two. Peace out, passe love, and God bless.